Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show how to create a skin sliding for plane shapes. Uh, this is very useful, I, I, I use it a lot in, in production and most, mostly in creatures. Uh, it works super super good and adds some uh, extra realism that always helps, right? Uh, so I create a um, very simple plane shape, just a lip corner puller for a kaiju, right? Um, it's not perfect, but only five minutes so we can I can show this process so first thing that I'm going to do is uh, save a morph target and uh, we are going to start morph target now we're going to create a new layer we're going to call it skin sliding lip corner puller and these two, two layers are going to work together right um, so now what we're going to do is in the skin sliding um, lip corner puller, we're going to take the move brush with a very low intensity and we're going to start to move the areas where we want the skin to slide so let's start to move in the direction that we want the sliding of the skin so we want to come from there there I want it here. You can also mask the areas that you don't want to move. For example, I don't want the mask the gums to move. So you can slide the skin there without problems. Slide. Okay. Maybe we can slide a little more from here. And from there, all right, let's see how it looks. I think they could be moving a little bit more here, just a tiny bit, so we have a bit of a fall off. Let's see how it works. Okay, let's say that we like this, right? Let's see one more time. Mm, let's move it a bit more, so it's more. Uh, we can. It's more noticeable. What we're doing. Let's see now. Yeah, this is going to be a bit more noticeable. Okay, um, now we're going to do, we're going to do, go to the project morph tab and you're going to see that all the detail that we had before is going to get projected. So now we have the detail, but we, this detail moved, right? What is going to happen now is that you project morph, don't do it 100% because um, uh, it's going to start to project everything and it could break a little bit. So just do it by percentages. If you find that you have, if you find that you have any problems uh, that are happening, just mask the area where you want to, um, to have the um, the skin sliding, and that's it. That's uh, normally what I, that's what they do. Uh, I project, uh, I project, I mask the area that I wanted, and and project the morph just in case. Also, normally I just work in, in the face. Now I have all the body, I didn't cut it. I just was a bit lazy. Um, but just do it by small percentages. Perfect. Now it's good. Just in case. That's all good. Good. This is, you see, for example, this is a good example. If you notice that it breaks a little bit, just smooth a little bit, push it again, and you should be fine. Awesome. So now with this done, what you're going to do is, um, 
take these two layers. So now if we take a look into this one, now we can see the movement, but we need to see the two things together, right? So go to this layer and we are going to merge it, merge it down. And now, you can see the sliding of the skin. So let's put the top, uh, let's put the um, polyframe so you can notice it. See the compression. Take a look in the in the top. In the top, you're going to see it more. Another way to see it much better if it's, you have textures, you can put the poly paint. In this case, I just plug texture on top of it. Let's put a nice material maybe. And now you can see the sliding of the skin. Yeah? Okay, awesome. Hope this is helpful and have a very nice day. See ya.